UNC traveling to Clemson. Linus Clemson minus six and a half. Uh, I believe this has been bet down. I think this was at seven or seven and a half. It's been bet down. So most places, I think it's six and a half. You can still get sevens out there. Um, but I mean, right away, I, if you're going to give me it under a touchdown, I'll take Clemson. Yeah. I'll take minus six and a half. I mean, look, Clemson, like you talk about like bad variance, right? And, and now granted there, there's been moments where this offense has not looked very good, but they've had some very bad, very bad turnover luck. Uh, and weird, like, Moments like big time moments where they move the ball and then they don't convert on fourth down, they throw a pick, whatever. Like they should not have lost against NC State. That was a weird game. They probably should not have lost to Miami. That was another weird game. Even the Florida State game, they 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 should have won that game. Yeah, they should have won that game. And then the Duke game. I mean, we've talked about how that that Duke game at the beginning of the year, they they moved the ball. They had like three hundred fifty total yards of offense and. Just nothing to show for it. So in the red zone. Because they're because they're just moving the ball inside the 40, and then all of a sudden they would stall. So they will not stall against a Gene Chizik led defense for these Tar Heels. These Tar Heels have regressed significantly over the last five games defensively. It's not even close. Sure. Yeah, I shouldn't be betting against Drake May. But give me the team that's kind of trending in the right direction. Give me the team that plays better defense. Uh, give me a hungry Clemson Tigers team at minus six and a half at home. Yeah, I I think you're absolutely right here. I think Clemson, you mentioned it. Like they, in terms of like a, a per play, like they have not been all play outplayed all year. You mentioned like like I get it. Like you're losing football games. There's a reason why, and it's, you're losing certain games in a football game, right? Key fourth downs, key third down red zone opportunities, like that make or break big time scoring positions, but also like. They've kind of found themselves. They capitalized really well in the red zone against Georgia Tech. I get it. Georgia Tech. You know what's fixed that? I get it. Phil Maffa. Yeah. He's been an awesome revelation. I know Will Shipley's a stud, but like get those get both those guys on the field at the same time. Like, dude, get them both touches. Like your wide receivers are not good enough to be just feeding Club Nick. And Club Nick is not good enough to just be passing the ball 30 times a game. Especially in this game. I get it. Like, you want to attack that secondary for North Carolina. You don't want Cameron Rucker to like get after you. But at the same time, like, I don't know, man. I, I just think Clemson is probably the best six and four team. Like they should not ever. They were just ever. Yeah, may, maybe. And if they lose that game, this game, it, it probably won't change my mind on that either. I think it's it'll probably look the same as their other games of course and their losses, where they just outplay a team and then they just lose. The thing is about North Carolina, like they're also a team. You look at their schedule and they're like they're to eight and two, and like they played really, really well outside of two games. And like they edged out Grayson Loftus last week. <laughs> like, yeah, that, barely. Well, they needed a game time field goal drive there at the end, and then winning in overtime. Ever since that Miami game, like Virginia, I get it, right? Calandria, whoever it was, like, <laughs> no, it was Musket. It was Tony Musket that game. You lost to Tony Musket. Come How on, how do you lose to Tony Musket? That's what and I'm hey, saying. Well, we're rooting for the, the program there in Virginia, obviously. But Virginia and Georgia Tech, back-to-back weeks, unacceptable. I get it. You've gotten two straight wins in November. Happy for you guys. You've got Clemson and at North Carolina State. At Clemson, at North Carolina State, the, past, the last two weeks of the year. Yikes. But you're still in it, though. We talked about this. The reason why we're going to be covering Louisville and Miami, stay tuned that, for that, but, like, that game matters for North Carolina to sneak their way back into the conference championship, right? Like, and and give Florida State a real chance, a real fight there. If you're North Carolina, you got to run the football, which teams, to be honest, have not had a ton of success on Clemson. They got a good front there. I really like the front. Lost some guys in the draft, and they're, they're really good up front. Their linebackers are incredible. Trotter and Barrett, like, they're really, really good. Drake may, I think too much is going to be put on him. I think he's incredible. I think Tess Walker's a piece. I think, like, I, I love May, but at the same time, like, there's only so much he can do over a 12 game season. And we saw that come to freshman last year, where they really struggled in November. And this year, I think that's going to happen as well. The defense has fallen apart. 
He's playing well the first half of the year, not since mid October. And then obviously you're yeah, I, I don't know. Uh Clemson is just way better than you think they are. I think that's what it is. I agree. So I think people saw that line. They're like, what? Clemson's favored by a touchdown? What? And then they immediately bet it. And uh now it's great below seven. Yeah, give me give me six and a half. Vegas is loving that too. They know how good Clemson is power rating wise. Now, like there's the reason why they've lost four games. We talked about it. Like this, it wouldn't surprise me that if they lose this game outright, as almost a touchdown favorites, even though I'm picking them to, to cover that spread. But yeah, I just think I just think it's interesting. By the way, that Davis Sweeney comments were weird about the AM job. First of all, the AM would run him out of town. Oh my gosh, I would hate him. He's not if he didn't use the transfer portal. Like it's a weird fit. That's an interesting fit, though, in terms of two personalities, College Station and Davo. Super interesting. He's not coming to a and and neither is Dan Lanning. Do you think Clemson would be happy if he left? Don't have to pay his buyout. You could probably get a really think, nice coach. Uh, yeah. It, yeah, I think it, it really depends who you get. I think Clemson fans would be short-term, like, excited about that, but I think, like, be careful, yeah, be, be careful what you wish for. Yeah, be careful yeah. what you wish for. I mean, like, this guy has done – bought you a national championship. Like, are you kidding me? Two. What is there, like – Two. Yeah, two. They're, they're, what are there, like, five active coaches that have a national championship and there's three that have multiple or something like that? Yeah, so, it's Kirby Smart, Steven, and Dabo right now. And Urban Meyer is gone. Not for long, no. Obviously, he'll be coming back. Yeah. <laughs> And then other yeah, guys with the national championship, Jimbo, <laughs> and well, That's actually, true, not but he's gone. Anymore. Oh, he's gone. He's, he's gone. not even active anymore. As of a couple of days ago, jeez. So, wow, and Mac Brown, I guess, in this game as well. So, well, you know, that is a crazy. national championship, a national championship showdown between Dabo Sweeney and Mac Brown. Oh, That's geez. interesting, though. If 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 you do lose this football game, if you're North Carolina, or let's talk implications on that. There, like, you got to be frustrated. Right, like this is a very talented team defensively as well. You hit on the transfer portal. You've got a running game. You've got an all-time great quarterback. And and what you're gonna fall apart in November again? Yeah, I know it's not back-to-back years with an unbelievable quarterback. <laughs> Their line was what eight and a half. Yeah, over under. I took the under. I would be sweating. <laughs> I over. would be sweating. I took the under. Oh, it's I- not over. I'm saying if I had the over, I would be sweating because you had two rivalry games here. Oh, dude, you this... if Duke hit one last week, oh, that would have been such a great comeback because what did the UNC start, 6-0 and or whatever? Gosh, that would have been such yeah. an electric comeback. Yeah, but also, like, Georgia Tech, be wary of Georgia Tech. You know, you can't fault you for losing to my, my – uh... <laughs> <laughs> The Yellow Jackets. My Yellow Jackets. But, yeah, no, this is awesome. I, this game obviously doesn't have the hype that we wanted it to happen and probably that like these were a lot of picks for people's picks to win it all to win the ACC right like Florida State yes but North Carolina Clemson were, were right there with them and yeah how much does things have to change in two months you know three months 